Good afternoon. It's Patrick again. Land Cruiser Intervention. <laughs> Anyways, just cleaning out the shop, seeing what's going on. Thought maybe I would uh, make a little video about motors, young and old, and very old. <laughs> well, these are both what you would consider F motors. They're the Toyota F series, the basic first kind of F series, 1F, F, if you will. It's really, really, really based on the uh, GM L6 overhead valve. It was a 235. It was produced from 1939 to 63. Toyota did a blueprint of that GM motor. I mean, bolt for bolt, except for in um, metric configuration, of course. Even this valve cover with those ridges, if you were at a car show and this was in an older Chevy, you could not tell the difference between this motor. And this is one of the earliest. This is what they call a Siamese port. Siamese port. <laughs> if you notice, it's got seven ports. It's got four out and three in. <laughs> because the three in split, you know, they went in and split for each cylinder. That's why they call it the Siamese because you had two cylinders on each intake port. These motors were the longest running production line of Toyota's motors ever so far. They've over 45 years of production from 55 to 1992. Basically this F in one form generation or another has been in use. They're, they're really known, they're, they're very low RPM, very high torque. And this one here, the Siamese port motor, it was, uh, it ceased in 67. It was kind of an oddball. You can see the little round ports in between the, the three there in the middle. And it just not very good. Four exhaust ports for six cylinders. The, the, the two inners were shared <laughs> for the four. So the, the two outers were, you know, independent of each other. It just weird, 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 weird. Come around here. I'll show you. This is very, very early, very, very early. You can see there it's an F174945. That, that's very, very early. They, they went basically the, the six digits all the way through. Most of your F series, 3F will be up around the three, 400,000 mark. And this one is a later model F non Siamese port, regular one, and it's a 297754. So I think that's a little bit later, but it's not 73 or later F because that would be an F.5 <laughs> or an F and a half. And yes, there was an F and a half or an F.5. And what it, the only difference was down here, it, it had an oiling port similar to the 2F it wouldn't have had the oil pressure regulator here like this one and this one those are the, where the oil pressure comes off of and goes up through the filter and back so you know that would have been the f f.5 or f and a half they called it the updated f they, like i say the, the only difference was and then they went into the 3f which was fuel injected and the 3fe which is electronic fuel injection they went up to about 155 horsepower. These are good motors. Very, very, very good motors. They, they last absolutely forever. They're very well known to be half million, 600,000 mile motors. Not a problem. Good little motors. This one here had, looked like somebody did a little hacky shade tree job bracketry there and <laughs> I assume was putting on a trying to put on a maybe power steering pump or something kind of weird look I mean that's just oddball stuff right there that's ugly 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 and this one had the little one barrel carb which like I'll show you here it's you know that gasket doesn't go in there <laughs> it's just little, little tiny silver dollar size, you know, intake there. It's not real complicated. Somebody's got a really nice little homemade bracket on there. 
you never know what you find on these things after 800 years of people doing things to them. And then this is, um, this is what your intakes would look like. That's the Siamese port intake. See, it's got the three little funny ones there in the center. <laughs> and then that would be a later model with the six intake ports. And these are, this one's mag magnesium and these are cast iron, very, very heavy. This is also one with the spacer and the heat riser and everything. This is the older style one as well. And they didn't even separate the exhaust ports on those center two. <laughs> they just ran into one port that was a little bit bigger than the outer ones. You know, real technical, highly technical. Anyways, that's just kind of some of the stuff about the uh, F motor, the F, 1F or the Siamese port, the really, really old ones, especially that valve cover. That's so funny because GM, actually, from what I understand, sued Toyota <laughs> for a Toyota duplicating their motor. I, I, you know, I don't know if the, the Chevy was a multi-port like this one, you know, it had all the intake ports like this one's got, you know, 12, of course, six in, six out. And this one's got seven oddball weird, but like I said, I don't know if the Chevy would have been that style or that style, but Toyota was sued by GM for duplicating their motor, copying it straight up. I mean, they just no qualms about it. <laughs> Toyota's defense was they wanted to make it familiar to American mechanics. They wanted to make it look familiar when you open the hood. They didn't want to scare everybody off. I mean, it was hard enough to sell these things in the US. They had a very, very, very slow market for Toyotas back in the early 70s. 60s was worse, way worse. But yeah, uh, GM sued him. <laughs> Straight sued him. I don't, I, I don't know who won or what happened. I mean, I don't know what the outcome of it was. If anybody knows, maybe you let me know. But yeah, these are, this is what you call the old F motor. Siamese port, all original. This is going in that 63 that's in the other videos I call the pickle or is able to and Anyways, if anybody needs a motor, let me know, or parts, because everything I have basically is for sale. <laughs> That's what I love to do is buy and sell and trade and dig and find and go crazy with these things. Anyway, thanks for your time.